Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at 389 County Line Road, Jenkinsburg, Georgia. I'm going to do a uh, property walkthrough uh, as you're approaching from uh, Highway 42. Look for this big grove of uh, Leland Cypress here, and then you'll find the property right here. There is a driveway, and I do have a sign out. Hopefully, I have a bigger sign out soon. But if we're going to follow this fence line, this fence line pretty much follows the right hand side of the uh, property line as, as you're looking at the, uh, the plat. Uh, so we're going to follow this fence line <clears throat> and go all the way to the rear of the property. The uh, seller spent quite a bit of time over the past few days bush hogging to make sure it's accessible. So you can see I have a, a minivan and uh, that we can get all the way to the back of the property. And here we are in the opening. If you're looking on the right side of the plat, there's a little portion that shoots off to the right and then continues on. The seller has cut a little path down to the fence line so you can kind of see what's going on down there. From where the lot turns to the right and then continues back down, this is where we are. It kind of opens up into to a more of a meadow type area. Again, it was just bush hog, so okay still following the right hand side of the property and the adjacent property owners barbed wire fence you'll notice that this is a relatively new fence uh, there's a point in the the woods where you'll find another fence uh, an older fence uh, that is the uh, previous property line before the uh, subdivision but here's the clearing that i just showed you from the other side just as a point of reference, here's the big tr uh, spruce tree I was telling you about. Uh, so this is a big clearing right here. Could be uh, a home site, or be cleared further for a for a small pasture, maybe for a horse. Um, we're about to go deeper into the tree line. the uh, The road follows that I'm going to be on the path, I should say, is through those trees on the left hand side of the property, and it will curve back around to the rear of the property. All right, so there's the path I just came in on uh, in my vehicle. I'm just kind of showing you this open area. This is another possible home site here. The, uh, the fence on the right-hand side of the property is through those trees. You can't see it from here, but uh, as you can see, it's very wooded. I um, wouldn't call it old growth, but it's certainly uh, not scrub, scrub brush either, as you can see. Um, again, very private. There's the path we're going to continue down to the back side of the property. All right, so here we are on the back side of the property. We've kind of lost track of the fence line. But here's the creek that the back of the property line follows. It's per the plat. As you can see, this, this area on the back side where it opens up is just, just forested area. Uh, backs up to other large tracts of land. I don't know if the mic can pick it up, but there's uh, very little noise out here. Don't hear any people, certainly. Lots of signs of uh, animals in the area. A lot of deer. Again, there's the, uh, kind of looking over this tree here. Not a whole lot to see. It's just big, open forest. If you wanted to try to get your house way back here, you certainly would have a lot of privacy. Uh, I could leave it kind of rough like this for four-wheeling. Um, okay, I just walked down the path from uh, where we were just a second ago. Just followed the creek bed here. Again, the creek bed is kind of the back side of the property. There's a big dual trunked. There's actually three big trees put together. Some sort of, I think it's a water oak or a poplar or whatever. Big three big trunks here. And if you look down at the base and just to the left, kind of going down into the creek bed, you'll see one of the iron pins and it is marked with orange tape. That is the only iron pin still marked that we could find. If you find the old fence line or the new fence line that shoots off to the right, if you're looking at the plat, you'll see that it opens up and the right hand side fence kind of goes off to the right and then follow it a straight line down to the creek you'll find a sawed off, it looks like a uh, telephone pole, but it's probably sets up about three or four feet. Um, and that's where the uh, other property uh, property line is on 
that side and then it just follows the creek here 